and welcome to New Journeys Counselling. If you're tuning in for the very first time, then my name's Marianne Hanson. I'm the counsellor and the owner at New Journeys Counselling, and we provide counselling to couples, to individuals with depression, and to individuals with stress. So today's video is to talk about when you need some time away from your relationship. So whether you've, you're married, whether you're in a long-term or short-term relationship, regardless of the status, there are times when you both just feel you need some time apart. Now, it doesn't have to be a formal separation or anything major, you know, like you're moving out into somewhere else for ages or because you've had an argument. Sometimes things might just be getting too intense. Maybe there's problems that you feel that if you don't have that space, things are just going to escalate or get worse. So what I'm here to talk about is four ways that you can take time out from your relationship without it meaning that the relationship is damaged. Because that's probably a key fear that people are thinking. If I say to my partner I need some space, they're going to think, oh, she's going to get with other people, or she doesn't love me anymore, or this means the end. And it doesn't mean the end at all. Maybe it's just something that's um, a positive decision to make at this stage in your relationship. So number one, and this is very important, is for you to set ground rules. Um, there's no point just saying, right, I need a break, then getting up, packing all your bags and saying, I'm going to my mum's, you know, and then switching off your phone, not communicating, and then saying, oh, texting and saying, oh, I don't know how long I'll need this break for. All that's doing is adding to the stress, and the whole part of you taking a break is to make the relationship better, sounds like. So what you need to do is be clear. Say something like, I need a bit of a break, I need some space or I need a break. I'm going to go to my mum's. Of, um, a week, I'll contact you after that week is up, but if you want to stay in touch during that week, then you can do. There might be times where I won't feel um, that I want to respond, but I don't want you to be um, limited on that. You might be clearer than that, you might say, I don't want to hear from you in that week because I just want my space. At least the person will know. If they then continue to text or phone or try to, whatever, you've already explained, but I think it's important to say the rules. Don't just leave someone hanging and just say, I need a break and then disappear because that creates a lot of stress for the other person. Tip number two is to make sure you're clear on what's expected during the break. So when you hear people who say, well, um, you know, during the break they got together with other people and they say, well, we were on a break, we were separated, it doesn't mean anything. They're trying to say that you didn't say that while they were on a break, but that what could not... I mean, common sense says that, you know, if you're separated or if you're having space, it's not the end of the relationship. But to some people, they see it as being it's freedom for that time and they can do what they want. Be quite clear, you know, say to them, we're on a break, we're taking some space apart, but we want to fight for this marriage or we want to fight for this relationship. Therefore, I'm not going to get together with anyone else during this period of time. I'm going to use this time to reflect, I'm going to use this time to have a breather. Whatever you're going to be doing during the break, just maybe just say that to the, your partner to reassure them. Um, tip number three is don't spend the time worrying and um, you know stressing about the relationship. You're taking a break so that you can reflect. Maybe you can use that time to work out what are some of the things that I need to work on as a person within this relationship. What are some of the things we both need to work on? You know, are there any areas that would improve our relationship? You know, is it the, are we too cramped and overcrowded in the house we're living in? Are we not taking enough responsibility for the kids? Is one person doing more than the other? Um, there could be a number of things, but that's the whole beauty of taking some space. It means individually you get a chance to reflect and you get to think, when we do get back together, when we do reunify, I've had time to think everything through and therefore oh, the relationship would be better. And the final tip is when you reconnect and when you re reunite with your partner, don't look back, you know, move forward. There is absolutely no point in taking a break, say if it's for something serious or major like, you know, there's been infidelity and then you're taking space to see if you want to be back together. When you come back together, You've got a few options. You can either go and see a couples counsellor. You can, you know, go and have proper therapy. And if you're still not fully feel that you've got closure on what's happened, or you can get back together and you can say, well, right, I've had space. I've reflected. I know that I love this person. 
I know that we've got things to work on, but it's absolutely pointless for me to just come back together after having weeks and weeks apart and then to start, you know, talking about the same things over and over again because it would have been pointless having the break. So they're my four tips. Um, as a couples counsellor, I do work with um, many couples and we try to get to the root of what's causing the issues in the relationship. We've been a non-judgmental environment. We've someone who, you know, is not going to judge them, but he's going to try and find solutions. So if you or anyone you know needs couples counselling or you've ever considered um, couples counselling, please get in touch. The details are below. And thank you for watching. I hopefully I'll see you on another video.